Women haven't always been able to work in theatre or to perform in theatre, and it was only in 1660 that the laws themselves were changed to allow women the chance to be both on stage and work off stage. Some of the first great performers, female performers in history, probably stood right there on that stage. And to be able to continue with their legacy in a show that has so many women, both on stage and off, is just it's such an incredible thing to be a part of. Hi, my name's Helen Burgess and I'm Head of Wigs, Hair and Makeup here at Frozen the Musical. My name is Cathy Dixon and I'm the sound number three. My name is Liv Burton and I'm Deputy Head of Hair and Makeup. My name is Jessica and I'm a production electrician. Hi, my name is Jackie Sanchez and I play Queen Aduna. Hi, I'm Leah Curtis and I'm the Deputy Head of Wardrobe. My name is Anna and I am the Dance Captain. I'm Chelsea, I'm one of the production technicians in the lighting department. My name is Lisa and I'm Deputy Company Manager on Frozen. And my name is Michaela Jade and I am currently the first and only female performer to play the role of Sven anywhere in the world, but I hope I'm not the last. And there are so many women who work backstage that you as the audience never get to see. Obviously you see all of us on stage dancing and pretending to be a reindeer, but there are so many more incredibly talented people working behind the scenes that put this show on eight times a week. It wasn't so much of a question, more than a, a necessity for me. It was the only thing I ever wanted to do. We start two, three, sometimes more hours before the performance. My favourite part of my job is problem solving. We need to add pockets in secret places to hide things. I love a quick change. I thrive off those. It keeps it exciting. One of the things I really enjoy is getting to see the reactions, like uh, when I'm spotting, for example, getting to see the kids and the audience get so excited when the lights change and the special effects kick in. When you're mixing out front, there's no real uh, light that comes on to tell you when you're doing it right or wrong. So when you can figure that out by yourself, uh, by audience reaction or just by liking what you've done, that's really cool. There's so many women from different walks of life, different classes, different ethnicities, different family situations. It's such a supportive environment and there's very much a focus on nurturing. Just the support that you get working with a bunch of women is just amazing. The way that we uplift each other, the way that we support each other. I think specifically for this show, for International Women's Day, the correlation that I love is the fact that this show in a lot of ways about two women who are stepping into their power in their own different ways. So I find that quite inspirational. What does International Women's Day mean to me? Well, we weren't always given these opportunities and to now stand up on a stage where so many incredible performers have had that opportunity. Myself, some of the young ones who you might hear uh, going into their, their princess rooms right now. But to be a part of that legacy moving forward is just it's so special and I'm so glad we get the chance to highlight it, to think back on what we used to not be allowed to do and now feel so celebrated and so a part of it is kind of magical.